Hi guys, check out these natural plant fertilizers. Pour tea leaves into a container. Add oats and fill with hot water. Then seal and leave to settle for around one hour. Next, sieve to remove the particles and water your plants. The tannic acid in tea helps regulate plant growth. Oats contain fiber that nourishes healthy bacteria in soil. Our next fertilizer is made with matchsticks. Immerse matchsticks in water and leave for one hour. The sulfur and magnesium fund in matchsticks help in chlorophyll production. This helps plants to have brighter and healthier foliage. Pine needles are nature's antibacterial for plants. They are a great source of nitrogen which drives plants' growth and yield. After around one hour, sieve the decoction and water your plants. This next one is a rice tea for plants. First, grind the rice into a fine powder. Place one tablespoon of rice powder into a container and add baking powder. Then a spoon of salt and fills with water. Store in a dark place for one day. Then directly water your plants with the tea. Rice water provides beneficial nutrients that are essential for plant development. Now check out this natural fertilizer. This one releases nutrients slowly so that plants develop stronger roots and experience less stress. After peeling two bananas, place the peel on a baking tray and into the oven. Use the lowest oven setting and cook until the peels are charred. The potassium in banana peel strengthens plant stems and helps to fight off disease. Allow them to cool, then break and crush into fine pieces. Here's a great hack on how to crush peels. Put all the pieces in a sealable bag and roll over with a rolling pin. It's a great mess saving and quick hack to achieve smaller pieces. Calcium contained within the peels supports plant growth by helping to break down nutrients in the soil. These nutrients are then distributed throughout the plant's system. Sprinkle directly on top of the soil, then water in to fertilize. This fertilizer is especially beneficial for plants that bear fruit and flowers.
It can also act as a pest deterrent for plants. Aphids hate the fragrance of bananas and will swiftly disappear. Our next fertilizer is made from orange peel. These peels provide essential nutrients like iron, calcium, and citric acid. Not only will it fertilize, it will also improve soil structure. After filling a container with peel, add hot water. Then seal and leave to sit for around two hours. The liquid retains most of the citrus smell, which is effective at keeping pests away. Once the time has passed, water directly into the soil. Now let's look at this homemade fertilizer. Place black beans in a container and add water. Seal and leave them to soak for about three hours. Saponins are released into the water and act as bodyguards for plants. These phytochemicals help to keep plants healthy. They can protect against microbes and fungi. Check out this liquid onion skin mix. Carefully cut and remove the outer skin from a large onion. Onion skins are rich in potassium, calcium, and iron, which helps plants grow strong. This fertilizer is a great way to utilize kitchen scraps. Put the skins in a container and fill with hot water. Then seal and leave for about one day. Onion water is packed with essential nutrients and minerals. It offers an eco-friendly solution to nourish your plants. Onion water can also serve as a natural insect repellent due to its strong scent. The sulfur component in onions is an odor that bugs hate. Here's our next one. Pour gelatin into a container and add water. Mix well to ensure all the particles dissolve. Gelatin will only be effective if it's unflavored. Flavored gelatin has added sugars, which can be harmful to plants. Unflavored gelatin provides plants with a rich source of nitrogen. Our final recipe consists of milk and turmeric. Even expired milk is loaded with calcium and vitamins to give plants a boost. Mix well and water plants directly. Thanks for watching. See you next time.